All right. The official Dominion app came out for Android, iPhone, and Steam, and I wanted to record some playthroughs of the daily that they've got here, because now we've got this daily feature where we can play daily games, and honestly, I've just been kind of having fun recording videos lately. Um, I feel like there's not a lot of great Dominion content out there, and I certainly don't think that I'm necessarily in a perfect position to fill that need but i just figured it could be fun to chill out play through a daily think out loud and uh just to enjoy the vibes i like i'd like to figure out a way to make dominion content entertaining but it's just such a specific game you know so i'm gonna take a look here i'm i have and purposely for these videos i'm not looking at this daily at all until I start recording so we've got architects guild I can't remember very much of the allies so I need to read this I can spend two favors to gain a cheaper non victory card okay so as long as I've got favors I can double up which is cool we've got townsfolk which I gotta remember which one is the townsfolk this one's the one that lets you draw a bunch of cards and then play actions at the end, right? Oh yeah, it lets you do, you can chain them with each other because you can pick a bunch of multiple options. So is this just like a heavy allies board? Start your next turn, gain a card costing up to five. Oh, I really like Importer. This card's really nice. You may set aside an action for your hand to play at the start of your next turn and this is a treasure crazy so what i'm kind of thinking right now discard down to 10 specialist for more card gains so town okay so we've got some bonus actions with town Trash is the top card of their deck. If it costs three or more, they gain a cheaper card sharing a type with it. Okay. We got a decent attack. So I'm kind of thinking right now. Side and Architect's Guild is on buy or gain a card. Okay, so I can do Architects from Specialist and Importer. I just need to understand Carpenter and then we're off to the races. Okay. If so no supply piles are empty, I get an action and gain a card. Otherwise, trash a card from your hand. Okay. So it's like a mix between a workshop and a remodel on Carpenter, which makes sense thematically, I suppose. Town is also really nice in the early game. I think I'm going to start with a Carpenter. I... Oh, and I can... Gain a cheaper non-victory card. I could go ahead and gain... No, no, no. Uh, or I could go ahead and gain a silver... To work towards... Oh, do we even want silvers? I don't even know if I want silvers. I kind of just... Hmm. I mean, I've got so many favors. I think I'm going to do silver. Whoa! crazy noise on the architect guild oh my gosh that's good that's intense <laughs> okay let me pull up the log here and we'll grab an importer so what i'm thinking right now is if we can keep the importer off sync with this carpenter great we can get a contract now and now I definitely would like to do this to grab a second carpenter, I think. No, not a second carpenter. Man, there's just so much going on with allies boards. Like this board's crazy. There's just so many things. Okay, what's gonna benefit? What's gonna help us trash the quickest? Cause that's kind of what I'm thinking of going for is speeding through with carpenter maybe we go carpenter town marquee and we just try and keep getting through our deck as quick as possible 
Um, I definitely want more contracts. And then another town. And then if we keep getting towns, we could go for additional carpenters. So, here's my thought process. If I can go carpenter and get loaded up on towns, I'm not gonna set aside an action. I will, I don't think I'll grab another importer. I think I'm content with just another silver. And now, we can just keep going contract and architect's guild to get more towns. I just need to hit six once to get this marquee and I think we'll be cooking. Maybe. I think at this point, a barbarian could be nice. But I also, I don't need that many more contracts. I've got two and I think I'm content with that. I've got two contracts and a silver, I think. So, uh, play it again. We gain an extra copy. So specialist is pretty nice. Did I grab a barbarian or did he? I grabbed a barbarian. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking losing it. We are going to gain a specialist now. So we can double up on stuff. And then we'll do two towns. And then let's see this. This is for whenever I don't hit. Oh, I got him to trash a student. That is quite helpful. Then we're going to use this to get up to six. Wonderful. So now I've got my marquee. Then we'll do this. Every time we got enough favors, we'll... <laughs> that sound is cracking me up. I just can't help but feel like I'm going wrong because they're going for these wizard cards. Which is concerning me. But I think we're in good shape. So... I eventually want to get to gold. That's kind of my, my goal here. Because if I can get to gold, then I can carpenter them. And that's kind of my plan right now. Second marquee. So I think we're going to be in a good place to start. Um, okay, contract. This will be nice because... We can play Barbarian to trash something. Hey, give him a curse. That's nice. Then we can contract this Carpenter. And then now we can start picking up Golds. And then I would like this last town. I can trash a card with Carpenter. Oh, because the supply pile is empty now, you don't get to choose. That is so interesting. Okay, well, I definitely would like to turn an estate into another carpenter. Then I don't think I really care about buying another silver at this point because we want our deck to be nice and lean to get those carpenters and golds in the same hand. I don't know. I just I feel like these rotating piles are not super helpful on this board. So let me look here. At this point... I want, I think specialists are great because we can do specialist on a town, then we can do that, then we can play it again and get money from it. And that only costs one action. So this is going to draw us three cards, then we'll do another town, then with these two towns, we will just get money contract and now we are cooking with gas we'll go ahead and grab one province and i think that's it 
So I almost want to buy more importers because we get so many actions that my thought is like every importer is like going to be a couple duchies, which I think can push us over the line because the AI is about to start buying provinces too. I'd imagine this turn they're going to line one up. I mean, unless I'm just super wrong, but no, they cannot do it. Okay, well... Ooh, I could play specialist twice, or play specialist to do marquee twice, which, let me think, so I played, it would give me four cards, which would take me up to eight, so, no, that's not worthwhile. We'll do specialist on carpenter to get rid of some stuff. So, I want to trash you for, at this point, uh, courier, I think, is actually going to be really nice for us, and then for carpenter, we will play you again instead of gaining a copy of you. So I actually am wondering if I just need to pile out at this point because that would be really easy to do. Um, do I have to gain a card? Yeah, you have to, okay. Um, I'm just gonna gain an estate because I can turn those into stuff. It's a point, could be a tiebreaker. So with five, I'm kind of thinking about just piling out these contracts they're closer to piling out ah, that, that's that's a waste we want to pile out specialists if anything because if i buy a bunch of contracts that doesn't help me get through my deck and keep the pressure on whereas buying more specialists is going to make my turns better and better and better dude i love the music in this <laughs> <laughs> I just every time the architect's guild happens it just it just feels like a vine boom. It just gets me every time. Okay, there's what we want. Okay, cool. This is perfect because I can Oh, this is actually going to apply quite a bit of pressure. Because trash a card from your hand and gain a card costing up to two more. So I can I can really drain the provinces here. Which is just makes this harder and harder. Or we could keep working on draining the specialists. That's even better, actually. So we'll play a specialist as a carpenter. We'll turn this gold into a province. We have a solid lead now. We'll play you again. And we'll turn this silver into a specialist. Wonderful. Then... We will play these contracts. Specialist is even closer to piling out. And then the last thing we'll pile out is probably going to be these importers. They're really easy to pile out with um, Architect Skilled. I think we're just going to grab the win. I don't think I can finish off the importers and specialists this turn because I drew a bunch of importers but we'll play some towns and see what we can make happen if I can draw my I think I have another marquee in here still maybe not though or you know what we could just finish piling out the specialists now great yeah this is pretty much done I mean unless they can set up a mega term where they're buying three provinces I just it feels unlikely yeah, I don't know. I'm looking at this again, and it's just... These rotating piles can be really strong, but on this board, it just feels like you're afforded so many really, really strong options. And I mean, this is this turn's just GG. Because... I'm going to have two buys from the town. Yeah, I mean, it's done. So, we'll just... Take the money from the town and call it call it there. Good game. Well, not a high score, but a pretty fast game. Uh, it could have been faster if I would have been a little more focused. I think I could have. Um, I could have probably gone a little quicker. Sorry, I, don't, I think you can hear my baby in the background crying. Uh. Yeah, I think um, I think I could have done this a little bit faster, but either way, hope you enjoyed it. Fun little daily Dominion video. Uh, I'm gonna keep making these because they are really quick and easy to make. Hope you had a good time. Catch you tomorrow.